I've known Gary uh, for a few years now, and um, we used to work together. And then also um, photography sort of that's sort of obviously one of Gary's passions and sort of became a hobby for me. So that's really sort of where it all started. I couldn't get out to take pictures anymore. I didn't have the strength. I wasn't well enough. The one thing I could do was watch movies. And the one person I knew who would be insane enough to sit with me and watch them and was Mike. And a lot of the time I'd watch them by myself because <laughs> Gary would fall asleep. So. <laughs> yeah. One of the highlights for me, in a sense, was last so the summer of just gone. We went down to Exmouth on an extremely hot day. Managed to actually get Gary into the water for the first time in years. <laughs> Going back to when he was first came out of hospital and not having the energy sometimes to get up off the sofa and things like that. And almost sort of like a turning point going, it's going to be all right. You can't stay in 24 hours a day and not think about what's going wrong with you. You have to have something to distract you from that. And it's very difficult to distract yourself. As far as I was concerned, I was just a friend popping around, watching a film, having coffee and cake and stuff like that and going home again. But what I mean, what Mike doesn't realise is, you know, that's enough. And I knew there was someone to take the mickey out of me and, and, and lift me, you know. It's, it's, so you just need that. It meant so much.